Speaking of internationals, I read that the Furtado brothers, not the the the, the gang, had ties to Colombia. Meaning Medellin, yeah. Colombia. You read that? I read it. That's what they said. Okay. So what they're saying <laughs> is it <laughs> was there ever a time, whether it be for business or personal, that any of the brothers had to take a trip out to Colombia? Yeah. Okay. I was gonna say I can't stamp that. So um well what I will say for the viewers. Mm -hmm. your, your, your audience, mm -hmm. you know, those hot boys come in all shapes, forms, and sizes. And they come in the form of connects also too, right? Mm -hmm. And one thing about the Potatoes is there might be one or two people that can say, we work for them because we never work for nobody. Mm -hmm. And we never took no consignment, right? So, and this is one of the reasons like, that we will never ever go back to that because we're lovers of life and you don't know who to trust in that game no more. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and Cash used to be like, yo, introduce me. I'm not introducing nobody to nobody because God forbid that person I introduce you to, even though you think he might be up here, end up being the one to bury you. There you go. And, and they say, well, Lance, so, introduce me. Can, can I ask about this? No. Let's just say introduced. Use that word. Mm -hmm. Were any of y'all ever introduced to Pablo Escobar? No. no. Never. No. Okay. No. So, but you did, well, the business of pleasure, make your way out to Colombia. Because it made its way here. Understood. Understood 100%. I wanna, I wanna skip a little bit. Sure. Because we didn't fall on Plymouth Rock. <laughs> Plymouth Rock. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm sure <laughs> if, 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 if we can't go here, it's fine. Queens is also known for some other legendary figures of course. In, in the street game. Yeah. One I'll being... You, I'll use the term. Go ahead. Fat Cat. Family. 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 That's all I'll say. To this day. day. To this day. Underdulturated love. How do y'all know him? Is, is it from the block? Is it from being in the we gang? We grew up together. From the gangs, all that. The yeah. block, we grew up together. His kids is our nephews. Our kids is his nephews. Yeah, family. that's just like Tar said, family. Family. You know, we all we all go through our trials and tribulations and live in that life. We do things that society see that's totally off the wall, but and, and I'm not condoning anything, see, when you live in a life like that, there's certain things that go along with that life. And sometimes some people just lived it to the fullest. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, cat is family. And people just don't know, right? And, you know, everybody has their own mind made up about, you know, the way they describe the person. But if you really knew him, you would say, damn, this is a good dude. Beautiful. Mm. Yeah. Okay, so, so, and, and you know, I got to ask this. It, it's alleged, or it's accused, it's public knowledge mm -hmm. that he ordered a hit on a New York City police officer. Not at all. That was something, you know, <coughs> as we learned down the years, that was spontaneously done. Can What's you elaborate on that? What does that mean? No, it means that somebody took matters into their own hands. It wasn't no order from There was China. never order. Never order. You know, to our like, knowledge, never order. Never order. You remember I said, <clears throat> um, no, we're gonna go ahead. It'll come yeah, back to it. Yeah, not, because the 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 the, the assassination, we'll call it, yeah, which it was. That's what they call of, it. Of, New York City police officer Edward Byrne, mm -hmm. yeah. it changed everything in New York. Changed yeah. It game. changed the game changed completely. Just you can go to that moment in time. It changed. It, in it the started world. the TNT task force around the world. When, when then um, President Bush Sr. was running for office, mm -hmm. he ran with the president, I mean, he ran with um, Ed Byrne's badge. In his hand. Mm -hmm. Talking about his war on drugs. So it changed not just for Queens, for everybody. <clears throat> yeah. Everywhere. Can't did not order that. Hmm. Not, at, not at all. Not okay, at all. let's switch for a second. Go ahead. Supreme. Family. family. To this day. To this day. Hmm. Notice, we didn't stutter. No, not at all. So it's never any internal beef. Never. L O V E. Never. Hmm. So everybody. 
Because these are major names, y'all names, Fat Cat, Preen, all known for Queens, mm -hmm. coming out of Queens, mm -hmm. all work together in somewhat harmony that both of y'all could say at the same time, in sync, family. So I, I'll put it to you like this, because a lot of people ask, where did the name or the title King of Kings come from? Mm -hmm. It's not a name or a title we gave ourselves. Um, when you analyze some of those names that you said and some that you didn't mention, mm -hmm. all of those people are kings in their own right. We just happen to be the king of kings. So that's where it came from. It's not a name or a title we gave ourselves. And that's a subliminal message, but you could put that together. Do you think if they were sitting in this seat, mm -hmm. they would, number one, acknowledge the same love? Without and number doubt. two, Absolutely. without a doubt. Without a doubt. Without but a doubt. With, with number two, would they acknowledge, look, we're kings, but the Fatados was a little different. Without a That's doubt. King well, of Kings. I'm, I'm, that but, name was not just given to them. It was an earned title. Without a doubt. Yeah. Okay. Listen, so that's I, why I, I started believe off. So. I that's, believe so. That's why I started off saying anything about us. It's no brags, it's just facts. Mm -hmm. And for anybody to try to distort that, discredit it in any shape, form or fashion will be discrediting themselves. Can I ask, at your height? Five, in, five, five, ten and a half. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm playing. I'm at sorry. your height, <laughs> what was the largest purchase, if you can speak on it, that you ever made? I don't we know. just said what the government thinks. So the government said that we was doing 3,000 keys every six months and 200 keys of heroin. And I just said to you, we <clears throat> never took no consignment from nobody. Never took no, okay. Was any of that ever ripped off? Was any of that ever lost in the street? I know you oh, all no, love, happened. but then- oh, no, okay. stuff you, happened. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you, you take losses. There's ups and downs, but yeah. one thing about us, we never cried about a loss. We can take a million, two million dollar loss, but you would never know it. This is what we said back of that day, which was a crazy statement. We're part of the good hands people. Once you get with the Fatani brothers, you'll never go wrong. So if you get with us and you have a pure heart, you have the opportunity to gain wealth beyond imagination. If you put the banana pill in front of yourself and slip and fall, we're not going to let you bust your head because we're traveling in love. But no more banana pills. You didn't yeah, use a banana pill on our watch again. Losses happen. It happened. Losses happen. Yeah, both on the street side and police seizures. Yeah. Yeah. So that's yeah, just y'all yeah. chalked it up as part of that's the game. Part of Let's game. keep moving. But that's part of the game. On reality, it have to be. It, let, it, it, Nobody it, never took nothing from us. I'll put that out there. Nobody and, that you know. No, yeah, no. Nobody never took nothing. It's different. Messing up and taking. So, you, you know, you got some people, not to cut Todd off, and excuse my French, but you got some people that are just fuck-ups, mm -hmm. you know? And as you move along, you learn, like, no, nah, I can't give you nothing no more. You're a fuck-up. You know what I'm saying? That's not taking nothing. You just didn't have the, the, you know, the managerial skills or whatever it took or needed that you thought you had to run a business. To make it grow. And it crumbled. And we're not saying that as a blueprint for anyone that's listening and saying, hey, well, you know what? You may be last long in this game if you do X, Y, and Z. There's no right way to do wrong. At the end of the day, the federal government always get their man. It's that the clown that cat. They always get their man. Make no mistakes. And so what I would say to like just, you know, elaborate on that a little further, right? Because I know cats, you know, sitting here and hearing us talking and, you know, some younger generation, I mean, say, oh, and them, them niggas scared. Hell no. Ain't nothing scared about the photographer. Alice ain't raised no punks, period, right? Um, but I said to you like this, most people, 90% of the folks that was in this life, this game, had a three year run, right? And then they spent the next 25 years of their life reminiscing. Hmm. Or they still in prison, reminiscing. Yo, remember what we used to do? Yo, remember we bought that 500, remember we did this? We had a 25 plus year run. On the streets. On the streets. Free men. Free men. And still here to talk about it. In sound mind and good spirit. And again, our soul is intact. Okay, so, so let's go there. How did you have a 25-year run distributing 
the type of product you would see. Those are big numbers. Because most people don't get nearly to see those types of numbers. We knew how to get ghosts. So we wasn't that caught up into so it. So you was never flashy. No. Oh, no. we had. We, no, listen. We had all of the, you know, amenities that went along with it. The Porsches and this and that and that and this and the diamonds and all that. But no. We wasn't flashy. We wasn't a sore thumb. We never told on ourselves. Understood. self infliction yeah. is, is, is the, is the um, destruction to the uh, man's. So, so how did y'all manage to keep it so low when so many of the, you know, everybody knows Prem because we knew how to get ghosts. So when, when, when the heat was on, we knew how to shut down and leave town. And we'd be gone for a year or two. So we, we knew how to close it up. And when we did that, we gave everybody else longevity. Can we talk about the discipline? Because I think that that's one of the things that brings most people down. Number one, they tell on themselves, mm -hmm. not through their mouth, but through the lifestyle. Through their ways and actions. Exactly. But most people don't have the discipline to do exactly what you just said, Lance, mm -hmm. is to shut it down. Is It comes from the motive. Go ahead. Why you're doing what you're doing. What's your motivation? <clears throat> Like we made mentions, you have some people even to this day to say, yo, they have anything what they, what the government say they had, I'll put my life on the line for 25 years. So you have people with that mentality. Remember, we started out even selling joints because we wouldn't dare ask my mother for no money. Mm -hmm. She's paying all the bills. We're in a single family home. So our motivation to sell drugs was not to get rich. It just happened. And I, know, and I know that may sound like some corny stuff, but it just happened. Like, that wasn't our goal. We didn't start to say, yo, we're going to do this, and we're going to do this to, our kid, to the best of our ability, and we're going to ride, we're going to be so-and-so in this game. No. So, and, and to, you know, give more clarity to the question that was asked, right? Discipline. It takes discipline. So, as I made mention to you earlier, we are always humbled, low-keyed, modest. We wasn't about... But that's hard to playing. be You're when right. you are the H-N-I-C. And, and, and that's what, what I'm asking because the buck stopped with y'all. Y'all made it clear. Yeah, We didn't have no bosses. We, we was worked. a myth. We was a myth to a lot of people. <clears throat> yeah. Like some people would say we were by appointment only. You know, like the only way you could see one of us was by appointment. You know that's what, what folks used to say. If, if you ever had the opportunity to watch the King of Kings documentary or the trailer... You would hear Fred Joe Starr say, I always heard about him. No, I watched I've the documentary. Seen, I've yeah. never seen him. Yep. I'm I very clear. Him. I'm very clear on it. So that's the way it was. We didn't, like, don't get us wrong. Like, we had the Porsches, we had all that, Benzes. At one time, we might have had eight, nine Benzes, you know, but those wasn't everyday cars for us. Like, if we was going out, we was going to Atlantic City, we going out, you know, then we break out a car, we go out. But just to be in the community every day, driving a Porsche, doing this and that, no, you asking for trouble. And okay, what did you drive every day? What was your everyday car? So, my everyday car, I had, I had like, a few of them. Like, my, my Boxerville was my baby. Back, like, we going back to the 70s. Mm -hmm. You know, we always, all of us always had, like, seven or eight cars. Mm -hmm. My Boxerville... And my Oldsmobile 98, those are my babies. You know what I'm saying? You know, my Porsches and BMs, I used to keep those parked, and I drove my Chrysler Laser. That's what I drove, you know? I mean, they had work in it, you know? Like, mm -hmm. <laughs> you just ain't gonna run down on me because I can get ghosts, mm -hmm. you know? I drove around in a big blue van, right, that had a Godzilla bike taken out the side of it. But the engine work, the training work, and everything that was in it would <coughs> get ghosts. And 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 <laughs> I I, I kind of see what you're saying, but by no means are we saying there wasn't trials and tribulations. They tried to kidnap my family. Can we talk about that? It's really not a lot to go into. Mm -hmm. Stick up kid tried to catch my son and my wife going in, my, my then wife going into the house, but my brother remembered the description I gave them at the car they was driving. So when he dropped them off, and pulled off, he saw the car coming. He backed up, snatched him, and whatever happened after that happened after that. But things like that did happen, see, but for the most part, we were loved. And then when you think about 
how deep and strong the love factor is, more than likely, it was someone who we love that put the stick of kids on me. Mm -hmm. That happens. It goes with the territory. And, you know, it's, as they say, it's part of the game. But it's only by the grace of God, and I can say that with a clear conscience, it's only by the grace of God that we didn't fall into any of the snares and traps that a lot of other people fell on or fell into. We didn't abuse the game as far as we think, because as last we mentioned, we caught ourselves or other people caught us the Robin Hood of the game. But that was in my feeble mind, a way of thinking. But as today, I'll be the first to tell you, we were so dead wrong, we should have blew hell wide open. It wouldn't have been the air conditioning enough bigger or a stitching cord long enough to cool our behinds off in hell. But God had a purpose and a plan for us. Before, before we close this out, uh, is a couple of points I want to get to because mm -hmm. I do want to get to the downfall mm -hmm. when you got locked up. Mm -hmm. I read somewhere, and, and y'all said y'all had... Uh, law enforcement in your family. Mm -hmm. Number one, without naming names, law enforcement, like you said earlier, they're making minimum wage at the time. Mm -hmm. Minimum <coughs> wage today is very, you can barely live off it. Exactly. So back then, they're really making almost no money. Did any of these law enforcement, whether it be in your family or friends of the family, ever get recruited into what you were doing and help to keep y'all low and to feed you information? I plead, no. I plead the fifth. No, but does the answer that, <laughs> to feed us information? No. No. No, no. Okay, no. so, 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 so how about just a, being involved? This was recruitment. Okay. But to feed information and stuff like that? No. No. Okay, so what, what was their role? Just, just to make money? Listen, they was in, it, in the game also. Like, listen. While wearing the badge. Let me get this to you. Go ahead. We was in a jail called 1400 Hilgo Street, Columbia, South Carolina. Every top brass officer was on our payroll. I was, yeah, we'll just leave it at that. Okay, fair enough. How, what year did the Fed start closing in? And how did y'all go down? So, the, the, actually, we was always on the radar since 1979. We was always on the radar. That's why I said we, we knew how to shut it down. You know, we would take a three, four-year run and then shut down for a year or two. So you got to realize every six months you need something new to keep the investigation going. Mm -hmm. Every six months. If you get nothing new in the first six months, you have to shut it down. Okay, you didn't know that at the time. Is this where the law enforcement <clears throat> no. side helped y'all? No, it was just, I think. You know what? That's a good question, but this is just, that's just how we move. So, so, remember who you thought. Yeah. Remember, he, remember what he said in the beginning? Our older brother mm -hmm. was a mastermind. Mm -hmm. Who knows? Maybe he knew. I don't know. Maybe he knew. Yeah, it, it was just, you know, you know how you have that gut feeling, that mm -hmm. instinct. Don't turn left, turn right. Or, you know, like, could we drove with our eyes in the mirror and you know when you're being followed. Mm -hmm. And it's like, all right, this is two days in a row. Something ain't right. You know, so you telling me at the height, it's so much money coming in. Mm -hmm. You see the same car following you mm -hmm. two days in a row. Mm -hmm. And you have the discipline. We're talking about three individuals. Mm -hmm. We're not talking about one in... Todd, you say, hey, Lance, we need to shut it down. And Lance is like, no, I didn't see no car in the mirror. Or y'all tell your older brother, Tony, look, we got some heat on us. And he's like, I, I don't see nothing. You're telling me y'all had the discipline mm -hmm. to shut it down in real time and convince the other two brothers to do the same. Because it's that's just, not well, common. You know what? It wasn't even a convention. Yeah, it wasn't a convention. It's just what takes place is what takes place. There's no, hey, yo, no, you got to do this here. Yo, we shutting down. Okay. Yeah, we didn't come We didn't come and say, hey, Sean, what you think? We said, hey, Sean, we shutting down. That's, that's it. it. Wow. So, notice, notice we said that together, mm -hmm. right? With no mm -hmm. stuttering. That's it. That's just how we move. It was shut down. Okay, Why? so how, how did y'all get locked up? And, 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 where, <laughs> and, where, and where were y'all at? So... <laughs> 
we were in, right, so when we just say collectively, mm -hmm. it was 32 of us all together that got locked up, and we might have been in nine different states, right? And it starts from a connect. Someone that you think or feel is, you know, but it starts from a connect. You know, somebody that got access to a thousand keys, whatever. And they the, you know, the ones. And, you know, it trickles down to someone not paying attention and not listening, and then they get jammed up, right? And then that individual is not as strong as you thought he was. You know, it can't hold water like you thought he could, right? And then he puts the assumption out there, and then a surveillance and investigation takes place with wiretaps, all type of stuff. And so that ha that's actually been going on since 79, wiretaps, this and that, you know, because our first case happened in, I want to say 1980, 81, when I was facing then an A1 conspiracy and I was facing 25 to life, right? And it took us three years to beat that case because the evidence was really some made up shit for real. Like, like for real, some made up stuff, you know? But that's just the way the government plays, mm -hmm. but right? But all it takes is, you know, the government, and when you're messing with the Alphabet City, they know how to scare the bejesus out of somebody. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and when they scare the shit out of somebody, that's somebody who you thought, as long as they're around you, they're strong. You know what I'm saying? But as soon as you get them off by themselves, they tell on the world. And so that's what kind of had, you know, happened. And and if, and if and if you read the, it was in the Daily or one of the news, New York Times or Daily News, it kind of laid it out. You know what I mean? So you know. But our audience might not know. Snitches, that's why, snitches, yeah, okay. play. <clears throat> snitches. So snitches brought y'all down. Oh, they would have never got us. Okay, so so were these snitches people who you knew, loved, worked with? Yep. Never thought. Yeah. A day, this he's strong. He gonna hold his own. Yep. I'm gonna play basketball with you. What's my last name? Me? Yes. Furtado. One of the snitches carried that last name, but it definitely wasn't a brother. So when a family member gave suggestions that this is what's going on, the family member is more easy to believe mm -hmm. than a hundred other people that say, no, you got to be out your mind. That's not happening. Mm -hmm. Because of the pressure. Because mm -hmm. of the pressure that, you know, face here with 2,000 years. And if they can give to you, they give it to you. <clears throat> See, but my, I have mixed emotions about that because I'll sit here and honestly say, I wouldn't care what situation it is. If I'm on that boat, I'm taking the boat down and I'm going down by myself. I'm going to throw you a lifeline. I'm not going to throw you a line with no life support on it. You grab me for the life support and there's no support, so you're going to sink with me. That's not happening, but that's what happened. Okay, you knew the game y'all was in, mm -hmm. each one individually. I got to believe that y'all had conversations amongst yourselves before everything came crumbling down. Was each one of y'all willing to go down solo, even if it meant spending the rest of your life behind bars? Of course. That was a decision you made. <clears throat> was it, is this something that's invented in us? That's the cloth that we cut from. I, this is what, I don't speak this a lot. Mm -hmm. Charleston County, South Carolina, County Jail. Just District Attorney came to me and said, hey, you give me a Colombian or African connection, African connection, you go home right now. I said, I lived by the sword, I'll die by the sword. And that was that. Okay, a lot of people say that, and they come back another time. And they come well, back a the third time. Pressure didn't bust the pipe. Exactly. So that's when we say real recognizes real, mm -hmm. and real men do real things, mm -hmm. right? So a lot of people talk that shit. <clears throat> and then, I don't care how old your case is, our case made precedent, which is in um, book, f what is it? Book 191, page 420, third reporter of the Fed's law book. If any of us told on anybody, trust me, it, it would, would be, be in, in that book. It mm -hmm. would be in there. So, for, and, and, 
you know, anything we did sets, set precedence, you know, so for anybody that needs help, you know, um, getting reductions on their supervised release issues or whatever, they can go to, as Todd made mention, is Third Reporter. Third Reporter, Book 191, page 420, and you can read about Fatalos versus U.S. Yeah. We okay. showed we showed what is called the keys to justice. Got you. How much time did you ultimately in what year? Were y'all busted? 95. 95. All three? 95. <clears throat> Nationwide sweep. Okay. 32 of y'all go in. How much time did you get, Todd? How much time did you get, Lance? How much time did your older brother, Tony, get? Mm -hmm. So, Tony got 22. He got 222 months. I got 188 months. 97. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> That's what feds give you. They don't give you years. They okay, you can months. you take speaking my language? How many <laughs> years? <laughs> How many I years got, is that? I got sentenced to seven years and eleven months because no physical evidence on the guy that polluted our last name. Mm -hmm. What he said, I did. So I said, okay, well, if I take this these two keys and go at home, figure speech, mm -hmm. or I'm going to go to trial for 1,500, 3,000 keys. So, so all three of y'all <clears throat> cop please. Mm -hmm. No. No? No, no, no. It's called, so, like I may mention, we set precedence, precedence in mm -hmm. everything we did. So it's called conditional plea. So we didn't take no plea talking about what we did, how we did, nothing. The federal government blatantly just told us, look, somebody's going to jail. Make your mind up how y'all gonna do this. You're gonna, this is the time you're getting, this is the time, so the conditional plea or con conditional agreement is just saying, I agree to take the time. <clears throat> With, I reserve two rights to fight my case as if I went to trial. Exactly. And, and, and like I just said, it's in the book, so you can read that. We reserve the right to fight our case as if we went to trial. So it's not like, yeah, okay, um, I'll take this 97 months. What did you do? I did absolutely nothing. Well, you know I could take back this plea. I mean, well, you have to do what you have to do. Like, I can't tell you I did something, I did nothing. So when, when you understand, and this is for everybody <coughs> just me. watching, right? And this is not to throw nobody under the boat, nothing like that, or under the bus, you know? But when you take a plea, you have to tell what you did, what your role was, mm -hmm. and with who. Mm -hmm. Right. And so, like I may mention, we had a conditional plea. Our plea was just as simple as you agree to take this time. So you don't have to implicate nobody and else. Right. And it's nothing. to reserve the right to continue to fight the case. Actually, the um, U.S. Attorney Carmen Glenn, she was pregnant, going through the, the through the um, even through the hearings. We didn't even go to trial, even going through the hearings. She started having a bad pregnancy, started losing hair, and she's like, I just can't do this no more. What do y'all think is fair? Take this and y'all just go ahead and now leave the door open for y'all to still fight your case. It's in the book. And I say that because it sounds like something far-fetched, but it's in the book. Okay, let's talk about, you, you guys take your conditional plea. Did anybody besides the three brothers, we don't have to say names, get more time than no. the three brothers. Mm. No. So the 32 in total, so three Less brothers time. is 29 well, it was, left. It was, so in our case, you know, cause they break cases up, mm -hmm. right? So collectively it was what, nine of us, 10 of us. And we all got time in that range from 222 months as low as 97 months. Lower than that. Yeah, 60 we, months. We had three that got lower than that. <clears throat> and it's because he feds go by the capability. Your culpability in the role you played in said conspiracy. So what they weeded out, oh, you really didn't do too much, or you didn't do too much. You came in the conspiracy here in the, in the conspiracy at this time, according to wiretaps. So there's not much they, they go by guidelines, federal, federal sentencing guidelines. So there's not much they can give you 
if the records are shown regards of what anyone said, can't go beyond this. But just keep in mind again, we was all facing three life sentences. And our judge at the time, Judge Solomon Blot, right, mm -hmm. said, I, I'm telling you now, y'all mess with me, take this to trial or whatever, I guarantee you I'm going to give you every bit of three life sentences. And we was like, do what you're going to do, you know. And, you know, we fought the government tooth and nail. And they had never seen this, like, South Carolina is one of the most Confederate states. Is that where all three of y'all were caught? Same. We never no, got we, caught. We got extradited. Yeah, we got, we got extradited. extradited. Yeah, yeah. Like, we right. never been really to South Carolina. Okay. You know, but South Carolina was a state that agreed under federal jurisdiction to pick up the case. And it's Fourth Circuit. Fourth Circuit is the most Confederate circuit. In the Fourth Circuit, you have Maryland, Virginia, North Carolina, South Carolina. That's the Fourth Circuit, the most Confederate circuit out. They still openly and willingly fly the Confederate flag, and they still have Jim Crow law intact, and they believe in the good old boy system. How old were y'all when you got caught? I think I just turned When you 30, started your sentence? I think I just turned 33. I had to be 34. So 34. So y'all are still very, very it's young men. Different ages out there, man. Yeah, chill, man. <laughs> when we yeah. talked about the sixties, they were done. But here, we, so, 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 let's talk about the transformation. Yeah. Did y'all come from a religious background? No. I know y'all are born. Now we went to like. Let me rephrase that. So of course, you know, as kids, you know, Easter, everybody went to church. Mm -hmm. You know. Or Christmas, you know, you went to church for the Christmas plays or whatever. Like but that. it wasn't but for every no, Sunday. No, no, not at all. Mamas no. is 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 toting around this Bible. No. Y'all got to come to church with me. Nothing no. about the imparting of the Word of God. And, and no Bible in the house. Okay, so it's a couple of points I want to touch on. Mm -hmm. Y'all are born again Christians, and you have been very, very forthcoming and really open to share this with our audience. Mm -hmm. How does the King of Kings, mm -hmm. number one, and maybe this played into it, you got people like Kenneth McGriff, mm -hmm. Supreme, uh, Fat Cat Nichols, mm -hmm. life sentences, mm -hmm. life sentences. I don't believe at that time Supreme was locked up for life, but y'all are doing Seven years, ten years, eleven years. Did was that the wake up call for you to say, "Look, we dodged. God got a bigger plan for us here." Exactly. So, it actually happened before that because, for anybody to tell you, right, mm -hmm. that in the midst of fighting for your life, you don't look to a higher power, they lying to you, right? So in the midst of fighting for our life, we knew we couldn't stand on our own strength, no matter how strong we was, and we strong. But we was like, okay, <laughs> somebody gonna have to help us with this. And so, you know, some people turn to, you know, the religion of Muslim, some turn to Christianity, you know, some turn to God body becoming a five percenter, some become FOI, you know, but everybody, you know, seeks a higher power. It just so happened that our higher power just happened to be our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. 